orthodox drug has its place. Um, well, um, also, traditional medicine also has its place. But um, what I, use, I suggest most is the herbal. Or, that is herbal, herbal, yes. herbal traditional medicine. But um, e even if you're going to do herbal treatment or uh, herbal treatments, you, know, you should first go for tests. You should go for tests first. When you are being tested, and the lab I, uh, is able to identify what exactly the issue is, then they can now prescribe for you orthodox, of course. And then you can now alternate orthodox and traditional herbs because I think um, herbs, in a way, is not 100% curable. Orthodox is 100% curable. The ability of curing is more in the orthodox. So you use herbs to supplement the orthodox. The truth about it is those who say they prefer native medicine or herbal medicine, they don't know it. There is nothing like going to hospital. Number one, you get a test of what is happening in your life or in your body or the sickness. Then the doctor will look at the test and know the right treatment or the right drug to go with the illness. When we were born and brought up with herbal medicine, the traditional ones. Like I, for myself, my grandmom trained me up. So in this morning, he cut the leaves, boiled it for us, and we drank it, and we we're okay. Even as I'm telling to you now, I drink herbal medicine. So I, it's, it's good because it goes directly to the point. Why the chemical, chemical, chemical on this is not, you know, it's not good for our health. That's my opinion. So it's good to do the herbal medicine. Every um, drugs you take now, uh, according to medics and uh, medical practitioners, most drugs now have side effects. At times they try to hide this side effect, the octodose medicine now. They have side effects that when you are curing kidney problems, you've been curing intestine problems somewhere. But the herbal medicine, though not scientifically proven, but it has proved is uh, effective over the years, especially for the African society. And uh, in the past days, in the old days now, most people live on herbal medicine. They even live longer because it has no chemical side effect. Once you are taking it, it's more or less like vegetables. You know, it cures and replenishes some of the organs, damaged parts in the body. So I prefer the herbal medicine. English will work faster than herbal. And herbal has no dose. Herbs are cheaper, to, is affordable, very cheap. If it's recommended for you, you can even prepare them by yourself locally in your home. You can get them in the market, like the ginger, garlics, and then some leaves. You can also you can also get the leaves around you at free of charge. Maybe you plant. Uh, you, I will tell you, put plug guava leaf, add it to maybe orange juice, lemon juice, garlic. You know all those things are affordable, very cheap, and around us. Like me, oh, like me, if I'm having fever, I go on uh, Jogoyaro. I'll cut it, then I'll use um, um, lemon, lemon glass, yes, I'll put it together, then I'll boil it, I'll take it. And it works faster? It works, yes, than taking Paradol. I prefer English medicine. The one that have side effects is this one they call Agbo, they are boiling and be selling around. Uh, but the one I use my hand to prepare, I don't see any side effect in that. It works perfectly and it gives us perfect uh, health. And that's why I see me looking since many years now I've never been to hospital. Because I drink I drink I drink harvest. More than 18 years now, I've not taken drips as I'm starting with you. So it's good.